Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake is a beautiful dessert that's perfect for spring and summer when strawberries are in season. To start, you'll need four cups of all-purpose flour. You wanna place that into the bowl of a food processor. Now, you could also do this in a bowl with a pastry cutter, but trust me, a food processor is a lot easier. Next, Add in one and a half cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of salt. Then we'll pop the lid on and give this a quick pulse. Now, this is a lot of the flour mixture, so depending on the size of your food processor, you may need to do this in batches. We are making a three-layer strawberry shortcake, so it's a lot of dough. Next, you'll need eight tablespoons of cubed salted butter. We'll place that in, and we'll start mixing that in as well, or you can use a pastry cutter if you're doing this by hand. So just a few pulses to combine until it looks like cornmeal. Once the butter is all cut in, we're gonna pour this into a large mixing bowl. Now if you don't have a food processor, you'd be using a pastry cutter like this and rocking it gently back and forth to cut all of the butter in. Or if you don't have a pastry cutter, you'd use two butter knives and simply cross them against each other to cut the butter in that way, but that is significantly harder. Then we'll pour in one cup of milk, and I'd use either 2% or whole milk, as well as half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna stir this together. You should end up with a nice sticky dough. Divide it into three pieces, preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and lightly grease three nine inch cake pans. And I like to add a little piece of parchment paper on the bottom to make sure our cakes come out super easy. Take each piece of dough and press it gently into the bottom of that pan, and you want it to be as flat and smooth as possible. Once they're all smushed in the pan, we're gonna bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes until the tops are golden brown. Meanwhile, we're gonna put together our strawberry and whipped cream fillings. You'll need two pounds of quartered strawberries in a bowl. You'll wanna sprinkle on two tablespoons of sugar, the zest from one lemon, and the juice from one lemon, which is about four tablespoons, and toss it all together. Set those aside and they'll get all sweet and syrupy and delicious. I love adding the lemon and lemon zest because it adds a lot of brightness to the strawberries. Next, we're gonna make our whipped cream. and We wanna make a stabilized whipped cream, so we have some special additions today. Pour two cups of heavy cream into the bowl of a stand mixer, or if you don't have one, you can also use a hand mixer. Then we'll sprinkle in a third of a cup of powdered sugar, which has cornstarch cut in and it'll help stabilize it. And then I add in two tablespoons of actual cornstarch as well, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we'll start this whipping. Now, instead of using the cornstarch and powdered sugar, you could also use gelatin, but I find that this is an easier way to stabilize whipped cream at home. After a few minutes of whipping, stiff peaks will form and you're ready. Place your whipped cream in the fridge until you're ready to assemble the cake. You need the cake layers to be completely cool before assembling or your whipped cream will melt. Start assembling by placing a bunch of strawberries on the first layer. Then we're gonna take our whipped cream. I've put mine in a piping bag, but you can just scoop it on with a spoon as well. We'll give a nice layer of whipped cream as well. Get some of those berries back on. And then just keep on layering until you get to the top. On this top piece, I'm just gonna give a swirl in the middle and finish it off with a little pile of berries on top. This cake is best eaten fresh and needs to be stored in the refrigerator. Now I'm sure you're all wondering how to cut it. The trick is to use a serrated knife. That'll give you a clean slice. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.